My grandfather used to call me his butterfly, and for the longest time I had no clue why. I just thought it was, because butterflies are pretty, or something to do with butterfly kisses. After some long thought very recently I realized it is, because while you are young you are crawling around a caterpillar depending on other things around you to survive, then you develop this hard shell, your chrysalis, to protect you from the outside world and all the things you think will hurt you, when you are full grown you break that shell and spread your wings and fly. At that moment you are free, and on your own. You count on you, and you alone for survival, and have to fight and fly to survive day by day. This truly describes me. I have had that hard shell to the outside world, because I was so tired of being hurt, what I didn't realize, is I was only hurting myself. When I started breaking my shell apart one have had to fight to live ever since, and I'm still going strong. I have had doctors tell me, that I wouldn't live more than a few months, that was three years ago. I might not be able to do all the things other people do in the same way, but there are days, when I amaze myself, because I figure out ways to still be able to do the things I used to, just in a different way. I'm a person living with a chronic kidney disease, so every day, that I wake up, and can move around I'm appreciative for. Accept me as I am, I have no guarantee. I have no claim to perfection. I will never be perfect, but the people who are important to me realize, that I do not need to change to be perfect for them. I'm prone to make mistakes. Failure is not a character flaw, just a chance to learn something new. I live, I laugh, I also learn. My knowledge is never complete, I'm always searching to learn something new, in my waking hours and during sleep, my mind is always on the run. Growing up in a his, mine, and ours family, meaning my parents are divorced, and each remarried, adding to the family dynamics has influenced many things in my life. Always listening to what my family says, is often my biggest influence. I have had people in my life, who have always encouraged me to be the best me I can be, however I do, have people in my life, that would rather I be exactly like them. For many years now I have tried to bring together things, that most people in the world, try to keep apart. I have studied many religions, and think they all have interesting things about them. I have been outcast at times for simply studying different religions, not to mention befriending people of all races, religions, and backgrounds. I like to think, that all people deserve a chance and our differences are what make us beautiful and interesting. I'm currently living in the Midwest, and I love llamas. I'm a college student. I'm going for a bachelor's in business management with concentrations in web design and technology. I also have a degree in the medical field, because I would like to work for an upper level area of some of the pharmaceutical companies trying to help people like myself who have chronic diseases. My free time is filled with strange things from camping to candle making, and learning new interesting things like how to make bath oils and salts. Making strange jewelry is another hobby of mine. This is Chica, signing off. I hope this gets you closer to knowing more of me. Check the sidebar for a link to a great web page. I still love llamas. <laughs>